Hey everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make this short and sweet because I have been recording videos over and over again and I just want to get something out there to share with everybody. I have created this channel quite some time ago and I have yet to upload a video so I'm hoping this one will be the one. Yay! So anyway, what I wanted to do today was show you some of the things that I have been creating recently. I'm very proud of the items that you see in front of you right now. These were inspired by a stamp that I have recently purchased and also you know, watching a lot of YouTube videos I've been seeing a lot of vintage Tim Holtzy type um, craft items out there so cards, scrapbook pages, tags, I've been seeing all of the vintage antique looking um, products out there so uh, when I purchased this stamp which I believe I got off of Craigslist in an assortment of stamps. I'm not sure. I don't know why I showed you the back. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I got this stamp and I just thought I had to use it because it was kind of that vintage look. So the first thing I created was this uh, card here. So as you can see, this is that piano girl, I call it. And I kind of roughed up the pages because I've watched some tutorials on making something look really distressed and vintage and even getting to the point where you're just crumpling it in your hands and I just thought it was so cool and I wanted to give it a try. So that's what I did on this card. And I just added a few little bling items that you can see here. Some chipboard here. I roughed up um, the, the edges here, which I've seen a lot of people do with some special tools. I used a scissors and just kind of brushed it along there as you can see there and then I took uh, ink and um, distressed it around the edge. Okay so then when I was trying to clean off this stamp I just kind of pressed the excess onto another sheet of paper which ended up looking awesome. That was what this one was and I just thought this one being more faded than the other one actually looks better so I created this tag with the um, what I call clean image or the image that I used to clean off the stamp and I decided to make a tag with that and I thought that turned out pretty cool that's that one so these were inspired by the stamp I purchased and then this one was inspired um, by a uh, what are those called? Embossing folder that I got. A Tim Holtz steampunk uh, um, embossing folder that I've been wanting to use for a long time. And I actually just took, I think, oh, I'm not sure this is cardboard. I think this is that cardboard that comes in between uh, when you buy paper and it just kind of is that one that's at the very bottom. I I'm not sure. But anyway, I embossed it and then I put a took a silver ink and put that over the top and this actually sat in my craft room forever just like that and then I decided to rip it and distress it and then the rest of the card came so that was that inspiration I wanted to show you something really cool here something um, that I thought was a little different maybe I've never seen it I'm using bead caps actually in the middle of your flower here along with seed beads so I've been trying to incorporate some of my beading passion in with my card making passion. So those are my most recent uh, designs. Again, all inspired by this stamp here. So anyway, welcome to my YouTube channel. These are the types of things I do. Um, I will have uh, hopefully a few more videos coming shortly. I'm currently working on a mini album. I have three, I think three pages left on that. Um, and I can't wait to share that because it's completely different than what you see in front of you here. I don't know why I just waved my hand in front of the camera. I guess to wake you up a little bit because you've been staring at the same thing. <laughs> so anyway, sneak peek. Let's do a sneak peek because those are fun. We like sneak peeks, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let me just move that out of the way. Here is one of the pages from my album. And, oh, I just thought it turned out really cute. So anyway, sneak peek at my next video. The rest of the album will be shared during my next video. So I can't wait to talk to you guys again. Thank you for um, 
watching my video. See you later. Bye.